In our opinion, in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, there are some really cool looking armors, and so we wanted to wrap together a few of the more hidden armor sets or pieces that you may have missed out on so you can customize your hunter to your heart's content. So make sure to click like down below to support the video, and subscribe for all the other Sunbreak videos we have for you guys already on the channel. Let us know in the comments what your favorite armor set so far is, and we'll start off by talking about how you unlock the base commander set. Once you've beaten the Master Rank 50 Furious Rajang, Admiral Gallius will actually give you a quest called Rage That Never Dies. Within this quest you'll have to beat another Furious Rajang, but this time you'll have Gallius there to help you. This will unlock the base commander set for you guys. I think that personally this is one of the coolest looking sets in the game. It's definitely a top contender for the layered fashion hunters out there. But the armor pieces also come with high defense being rarity 10, as well as some interesting moves for a critical draw build. It has punishing draw for KO damage, crit draw for the crit chance, quick sheath to speed up the times between attacking, as well as focus and wide range. So the set itself isn't too bad, but it's really great for the layered armor because of how cool it looks. So this is definitely one follower quest that you don't want to miss out on. Next is the Guild Palace set. This is unlocked by clearing each hunt in the arena, and once you have coins from each of the arena hunts, you will unlock this set for yourself. This is another amazing looking one that's definitely a top contender for the fashion hunters out there. The skills on the set itself aren't too bad considering it has Agitator, Offensive Guard, Heroics, Coalescence, and the new Wall Runner boost. My personal layered armor right now is a mix between this Guild Palace set and the base Commander set, and I think it looks really cool and really fits the Elgato theme. Next is the Kahoot Mask, which is a layered piece that you get by doing the In Cahoots for Kahoot picks. You'll grab this blue quest as you play throughout the game from Passapato the Historian. You need to find three Kahoots that you can take a picture of. You can find the first one by going to the Admiral and looking for his Kahoot, They'll either be on his shoulder or on the wooden post nearby. The next one is the baby Kahoot that's in the highest points of Elgado. Just park all your way up there and take a picture of it. Finally, you need to get a picture of another Kahoot, and you can do this by taking a picture of your own one. So look around the different roofs or various areas where they can land, and snap a picture once you find it. After you've done this, hand in the quest and the Kahoot mask is yours, and now you can live out your favorite fantasy as a real life Kahoot. Next up is a master rank 2 star mission called the Dangerous Dare. You need to hunt a Rathian and a Bishoton, and this unlocks the Yukumo Sky set. This one could be great for fashion hunting mix sets, as the hat looks really cool. It also has maxed out critical eye, evade window, and recovery up, with a few points in earplugs, so it's not a terrible early master rank set either. Another one you might have missed is the Giant in the Frost Islands quest. This unlocks the Monk Snail Helmet. To get this, you need to take a photograph of the Monk Snail, which if you haven't seen it before, you need to go to the Frost Island map at night, find a high spot near the east of the map, and snap a picture of it once you see it. It can take a few minutes for it to come out, but if you wait long enough, it will show up. Next is a Master Rank 3 star quest. It's called Studying the Starvation Effects. You need to hunt a Rajang and a Puke Puke. This will unlock the Guardian set. This is another nice one for fashion hunting mix sets, as it's a little bit Dark Souls-like. Skill-wise, it's not that fantastic, but might be good if you want to be the tank of your squad. With Diversion, as well as Guard Plus and Guard, it's probably good for SNS or Lance users who want to focus on drawing attention and being tanky. Next is a Master Rank 5-star quest called Stats on Statuses Stat. You need to hunt a Gormagala, Espinas, and Lunagaran. This will unlock the Azure-layered armor set without even having to spend tickets on it it just goes straight to your box and is unlocked right away. Finally, are the sets unlocked by completing blue quests to capture specific monsters that will pop up and unlock for you as you progress throughout the master ranks in Elgado. First is the Bard set, which can be unlocked by capturing a Baryoth. Next is the Uzuchi True and Hidden Master Rank upgrade by capturing a Magnamalo. The Hawk set is next by capturing a Gormagala, and then the Scholarly set by capturing an Astalos. There's also the Sailor set by capturing an Espinas, and the commission set by capturing a basil geese. Put in the comments down below what sets you're making for your layered armor mix set, as I really love to know what people's fashion sets look like. Also, click like down below to support this video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe for all the other videos that we make for you guys. On the screen now are two more videos, and we think that they're perfect for you. So make sure to click them to check them out, then let us know what you think of them in the comments down below. So make sure to click them right now so that you don't miss out.